Hi everyone! Today Hubby's going to be installing this cabinet in our bathroom. I purchased this cabinet for our camper, but we were looking at it and the quality was so good and it was actually 30 pounds, which was a little bit heavy for the camper. So we decided to take our old medicine cabinet down out of here and install this beautiful new one in the house. And we'll take the old one and install it in the camper. A little disappointed about that, but really couldn't justify putting this big beautiful cabinet in the camper and the weight of it would have been a little too heavy uh top heavy in the back end of the camper so hubby's gonna do the install for you now and uh it's pretty simple install just a few tools needed and i hope you enjoy hey there folks today i'm going to do an install of an aluminum medicine cabinet that we got from shopper plus it's a living basics um medicine cabinet is like of, of amazing quality now we did do an unboxing video but just a, a quick recap it has two doors and get this mirrors on the inside it's amazing and look at this european style hinges it's amazing quality um where there was originally for the camper pod I weighed it and unfortunately it's a little too heavy for the camper and it's like really too nice to put in the camper although the camper is going to be nice so we decided on putting this into one of the bathrooms in our house and taking that smaller cabinet and putting it in the camper pot a little bit of an install guide came with the cabinet here are the glass shelves two pieces please be careful when installing now this these glass shelves were not included in 30 pound uh weighing of the cabinet and it also came with this package of stuff now the installation guide gives a uh required materials or or tools needed i'll have to go over and get that now and it shows what comes packaged with the uh with the cabinet which I'll open now in a second. Installation here for the on wall it says something about looks like taking off the side side panels. So I'll have to take a closer look at that. Then it gets in this particular cabinet actually hangs from a rail like some kitchen cabinets do, which is interesting. It gives some instructions on that as well as installation of the bottom bracket that goes on the cabinet just to help hold it in place. And finally, it also speaks to in-wall installation, just in case you're doing a new construction or reno, this can fit right inside the wall, which is pretty neat. So this is the package of included bits and pieces. It's well wrapped like everything else with this cabinet. Okay, this is a, oh, this is a pretty, pretty hefty bottom bracket it's aluminum here is the upper bracket Let's see if I can get into the other pieces like really you almost need an engineering degree to get inside this plastic ah here we go I got it oh everything's in a plastic bag so in here we have, I'm just going to dump them out in this packaging here. We've got a whole bunch of, I think there's like eight or something of these look like clear shelf brackets. I'll put those to one side. Oh, and we got one of those little clips, maybe two. Oh, a little bubble level. Interesting. If you have uh, drip rock walls, you can put those into the walls and the screws go into it. But our walls are wooden, so we won't be using those. But I will be keeping them because they always come in useful for other projects as well. And we have screws. Looks to be uh, maybe two inch uh, Phillips screws to mount the rail and the bottom bracket. So now I must go out and garage and get my tools. First step is to remove the old medicine cabinet. 
Yes, I should be using a screwdriver, electric drill, but I don't have a bit long enough to get in here. As you can see, this is where the old cabinet laid, and it's a lot smaller than the one that we got from Shopper Plus. Um, the new one that we're installing there now is 26 inches tall, so we want to keep it around the same, the bottom the same, because otherwise swinging will hit the towel rack here next to my right. So we're going to measure up 26 inches. So roughly up at the top of the tape, that's where I'll be installing this uh, hanging bar once I put a mark and put a level on it. And center of the sink is 18 inches, which is right there, approximately. I just measured the back of the cabinet and that rail that I showed you actually uh, attaches to the cabinet two inches lower than the top of the cabinet. So this will be the top of the cabinet. So I'm gonna have to mount the top of the rail about two inches lower than this mark right here, which will be about right here. So that will be roughly the top of the mounting bar. While a neat little bubble level did come with the cabinet, I'm just going to strike a line here with this level as a guide for the bracket. So, get ready to mount this plate. This is my center line, line up the center screw, and I'm lining this edge, the upper edge, and make sure that you put the uh, flared out edge coming out of the wall. I'll line that up there. So I'm going to pre-drill these. It just uh, reduces the, the, I guess, the risk of the wood splitting. It's always good when you're drilling into walls to know what's behind the walls. I do know what's behind these walls because I put everything in behind these walls. So I'll just go ahead and install all these screws and get on with the next step. Okay, so I tried a dry fit, but it wouldn't hook underneath there. And upon closer inspection, hmm, it looks like it actually hooks underneath this instead of underneath this. So I may have installed the bracket too low. I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to put it up and hook it on this. And uh, hopefully it'll be okay. If not, I'm going to have to move the bracket. Okay, uh, it just went up and sort of locked in place. I'll, I'll take it down and show you. I wasn't expecting it to go up that easy. Okay, so there it is. This is a heavy cabinet, so be mindful of that. So I lifted it up where I thought it would be just a little bit above that aluminum rail. And it seems to be caught there. I'm pressing down on it gently. It seems to be held. Okay, and it looks to be on oh, the right height. Okay. So to get its center on the sink, it needs to be three inches from the wall. So that's five inches. Now the beauty with this plate, with the, the, the bar up there, is that you have some lateral movement. Okay, it's still, still holding there. Let me see. Four inches. 
and it still needs to go over another little bit, another inch. And that's about an inch, and it's still up there. That was a half an inch. Actually, that looked good like that. Look at this. Cool. Soft close. Let's see if it works on the big one. Neat. Next, I need to install this bracket. And it's obvious that it needs to go in because sometimes when you haul both the small and the large door open, the cabinet pulls away from the wall, which you don't want to happen. So, uh, upon further inspection, these two holes here line up with these two holes on the bottom of the cabinet. Like that. And then you pop in the two remaining long wood screws for there. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find in the package the two screws for here. Um, I looked and looked. Maybe I you know, missed them, but I, I just couldn't find them. So what they really need to be is more of a flat head so that they can go into this little inset right here. Um, so I went out in the garage and uh, looked through my uh, supply of screws and I found some of these. These are uh, actually number four by three quarter wood uh, and metal screws. You can see that by the very fine thread that uh, they do they do hold well in the metal. Uh, I'm sure that probably number six would work as well. Um, I probably want a little bit shorter, but this is the shortest that I have at the moment. So I'm just going to go pop in the bracket. And number fours are not going to work. I'm going to have to go and see what I've got in a number six. I tried these uh, number eight by half inch wood screws, but they're a little too big for the hole. And so I went and got these uh, number six stainless steel uh, wood screws. So these should do perfect because they'll drop down into the hole like that and remain relatively flush rather than be proud like the screws that actually came with the uh, with the unit. So I'll go install this now. It's um, better to install the bracket on the cabinet first rather than screw it to the wall because the holes are pre actually pre-drilled in the cabinet, which is absolutely great because you don't have to do any measuring. So when you get this in place, all you have to do is take the last two remaining screws that came with the, with the kit and uh, screw them into the wall through these two holes right here. Milwaukee drill it actually has a light so that you can see what's happening in dark spaces I mentioned earlier this little bubble for those of you who may not have uh, a level that can be placed on the edge of the uh, mounting bracket to make sure that it's that it's level this is very considerate to put that in there because sometimes levels are not cheap and for one time use, this is great. And, well, and you can use this later. You can keep this in your junk drawer. Now let's unpackage the shelves. Looks to be two. And they're well packaged in bubble wrap. Okay. So, wrapped up in bubble. Wrapped up in paper. And there are a few shelves. And let's just go install them. Okay, so there's, if you can see, there's already, there's already two locations for the shelves. 
So I'm just going to use those for now. Oops. I go in with a bit of a press fit. There we go. Okay, there's that one. Let's go grab the other one. And what's nice is that there's there are beveled edges on this. I'm not feeling anything anything sharp, which I think goes to the which speaks to the quality of this of this shelf. See all those little nubs right there? Well, they can pop out and the extra shelves can go in there. So you can move these if you don't like where they're located. If you have some tall or bottles or utensils or whatever you're using and move them to suit to suit your situation. Or you can put in more shelves. You can drop this down one and put in another shelf. So there's lots of options with this cabinet. And I really like these uh, uh, little rubber nubs. So when the soft close does close, it doesn't go aluminum to aluminum, or sorry, glass to aluminum, it goes glass to these little nice soft rubber knobs. So there you have it, the Living Basics Aluminum Medicine Cabinet from Shopper Plus. It has a beautiful soft close on it, glass shelves, dual sided mirror, gorgeous cabinet, easy install. Hubby did a great job of it, and now we're going to have to clean up that old one for the camper. But it looks a lot nicer here and makes our little half bath of our porch look gorgeous and loads of space. I needed a lot more space for storing our, uh, you know, toothpaste and uh, neti pots and all that stuff. And uh, this cabinet is going to be much better here in the house. Hope you enjoyed.